Yo people, Rimakuro here and today I have an episode of Track Day for you. It's this year's where I drive a specific car on a specific track, both chosen by you. And you can tell me which car on which track I should drive simply by posting a comment down below. My car list along with the tracks available for this week are in the description below. Now the comment for today's episode comes from Alexander Milosevic, I hope I pronounced that right. And he says, Sesto Elemento on Seaside Interchange. Well, let's do it. But before that, one thing. Please do upvote the comments that you want to be chosen. Because otherwise I'm just gonna choose a random comment that, or more, more likely a comment that I like the most. And yeah, things like this may happen. Or not. So, please do keep that in mind to upvote those you and of course, Seaside Interchange is an open class sprint event located on the eastern side of Rockport District. It is 99 kilometers long, even though we can finish it in about 3 minutes, so it's not as long as it may seem. And I'll be doing this in Lamborghini Sesto Elemento tunes to 749 overall, doing this on single player. So as always, everyone can drive it just as I did, after about 50 tries, or more, if traffic will be lucky. Now the starting grid is rather annoying, because if you're gonna have a bit of a drift to the left at the start, like I did, you may not go out so easy like I did. I, I got lucky because the GTR R35 spec V went into a ramming mode, and yeah. That, allowed, that gave me more space, otherwise I would hit the back of it. And yeah. So do watch out, of course we're taking this right turn, but stick to the wall more, not like I did. Brake early, turn a bit later, but stick to the wall, I did that because I thought there was a traffic there, so... My eyes playing a trick on me. Now take a very wide line here, and a small snooge on the brakes is enough to go there. Maybe you don't even need to use. Go full speed through this corner, Sesto can easily do it, but if you're gonna do that, try to jump at an angle here. Not like I did, just at a small angle. It will help you with the corner getting into the next corner. Otherwise, you'll just miss the corner completely. Now, don't use this shortcut here. Don't. Use, just go around here because you're going through the tarmac, you have perfect grip. And you don't hit anything. Well, there you go for gravel, you hit a bin, and you're about 20 kilometers slower on the exit. So. Here, this is one of the corners that you need to use a handbrake, but use it late. Because if you're gonna use it hand early, that may happen. And that is not really what you want, I suppose. I think, I believe. Unless you're in a ramp first rate, so yeah. And it's understandable, you may want it. But then otherwise, if you're going for a time, you don't. As all the only corner in this game where handbrake is needed, the other one is kind of a developable state. Alright, this part was very easy, so no comment needed, but this here, if you turn in too early, you hit the inside wall and then most likely outside wall, so you need to time it and use this left tunnel, even though the speed of entering this tunnel will be is worse on their miniature one version. The point is, this tunnel is 0.2 seconds faster. Usually, sometimes maybe more, depends on the car of course, but left one is just faster. And don't use the left side, I know I hit the traffic here so it seems that the left side is actually faster. But notice that the top, that the speed which I was having at the exit there was below 290. Here, I would have over 300. So you would be going quite a lot faster, and there you need to go two times for grass. Now here, don't use that way, use this. Otherwise, because you just have a proper line, through here and yeah, you can go have a better exit speed. Slow in, fast out, that's the mantra for corners. Here, well, just don't aim for the wall, turn in nicely, use the grass there to avoid traffic or not, or what not can there be. Keep in mind that the grass near, very near the tarmac is pretty much as grippy as the tarmac, so yeah, you can use that to your advantage. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Of course, the Geronimo has to be when you're doing the jump, not like I did after the jump, but you know the trick. 
and this is really one of the best this is my second most favorite truck in this game but the traffic now is kind of an ass to be honest but otherwise it's really an awesome truck especially the ending because the general is just OP so thanks for watching if you enjoyed please hit that like button comment on what car on which track should I drive on the next episode share with your friends subscribing to me would also prove very helpful to me and that's really all so you're driving heroes Ryamakura see ya